morning everyone, hope you're all okay. <clears throat> I'm just coming on. You've seen me do um, shadow boxes before, if you go back through my videos you will find them. Um, there's an oblong one and there's a square one, okay. This one I'm doing but I've done, I'm going to do a little tweak on it. Um, so it's not the same. <laughs> um, so yeah. So you're going to start off with a piece of cardstock that measures 8 inches wide by 9 and 3 eighths of an inch width. Long. <laughs> okay, so you're going to score on all four sides, you're going to score exactly the same, which is at half an inch, 1 and 3 eighths of an inch, 1 and 7 eighths of an inch, and two and three quarters of an inch okay and you're going to do that all the way round on all them score lines okay and then at the top of the eight inch side okay just down to the second score line that you've made you're going to mark at one and three quarter eight one my god get your words out Mel three and one quarter and four and three quarters okay they're them dark lines that you can see there and you're going to do that at the top and at the bottom of the eight inch side okay then you're going to turn it round t nine and three eighths side and we're going to go up to the fourth score line so one, two, three, four. So it's the one closest to the middle. And you're going to score that at two and one quarter and seven and one eighth. Okay. And you see these bits that I have in the darker line. That's where you're going to cut off all of them you're going to cut off okay so all them corners you're going to just follow the score line so we're going to go right on the eight inch side you're going to come up that additional score line that we made, okay? So you're going to come up that down to the second score line. Then you're going to go across diagonally the third score line. Then you're going to come up halfway on the fourth score line. You're going to go across the third score line on the opposite side like that okay so that's what it's going to look like and that is the piece that you've cut off okay so you're going to do that on all four corners so it's going to leave you with a piece of cardstock that looks like that <laughs> once you've burnished and scored all your filled lines and I <laughs> can't really show you but that's what it's going to look like okay right now if you flip it over so that the back of it is facing you you're going to put tape on these tabs, okay, you're going to put tape on these little tabs, these four little tabs that you've got, okay, and tape on these two end tabs. And I'll just bring that up. Them little quarter inch tabs, you're going to just cut into them on either side so that it frees them up, okay. So that's where all your tape needs to be. 
okay and then on the inside you're going to put tape just across these corner pieces okay so I'll bring that diagram back in again on all four sides you're going to score a half an inch one and three eighths of an inch one and seven eighths of an inch and two and three quarters on your eight inch side you're going to put an additional line in here this one up to the third scored line yeah and you're going to put it in a three and one quarter and a four and three quarters okay on your nine and three eighths inch side you're going to put an additional score line in and it's going to be down to the fourth see the way mine's down to the fourth there and it's going to be at two and a quarter and seven and one eighth but just draw it down to the um, fourth score line right and that will become your tab that will become this okay so you're going to cut into that that way and that way to make it into a little tab okay i hope that helps <laughs> um where's me small bone folder <laughs> just give all them where you put the tape a little burnish just make it easier to come off I hope it's helping everyone me doing these diagrams um, and I hope you're all finding it easy enough to follow along so we're going to start off with these big long pieces so we're going to remove our tape okay and you're just going to fold this fold your tape part in see the way I've got that folded in and then you're going to fold on the third score line so we've got one two and then three okay and just stick that down Okay, so when that, it comes up like that. Okay, so do exactly the same on the other side. Take your back and off your tape. And for some crazy unknown reason, I won't put two on there. And now I can't get it off. Two rows of tape. Okay, so again, fill that in and then come over to your third score line and just give that a good smoosh down. Okay, so there's two of our sides done. Okay, so then we're going to take the tape off these two tabs. And this is going to help you. And it's going to also going to give you lovely straight corners. Hopefully if you've done it right. I'm still drinking away at my first cup of coffee, so if I'm just talk and blah blah then it's because I'm still asleep <laughs> and take the taper off them corners now you're going to bring this side up to meet up to that tab and it'll just give you a really smooth corner piece okay and do the same on the other side 
meeting it up to the edge of that one. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. Now you're going to take the tape, the backing off this tape. Okay, and unfortunately, <laughs> this is going to be one of the hardest ones. What you're going to do is you're going to push it down so that it, you can feel this edge hitting that back. Right, so I've got mine hitting the back and then I'm just going to push down and push in on them sides. Okay, so that's what you're looking like at the minute. And you're going to repeat that for the top one. So we're going to take off. And I forgot to put my DSP in. Mel's a wally. <laughs> you're going to take off them. You're going to take off your corners. Okay. So you're going to bring this one up to the corner of that one, making sure it's straight, spot on, and then you're going to do the same to this corner one. And again, making sure you've got it straight. Okay, and then we can remove this bit of tape and we're going to bend that down, okay? didn't want to stick for me for some reason. It must be this turden tape that I'm using. I've added donkeys. So we're going to push this in until you feel that the back of that where you've put the tape on hits the back of your box. Oops. Hang on, hang on. Emergency. <laughs> Pushed it in a bit too far. Turn it over and just glue all them glue down because we can't get our pokey tool in, you know, to. <laughs> so just make sure they're all glued. This one just doesn't want to for some reason. Right, so that's what you're looking at, okay? Now, I did cut a piece of DSP to go in the bottom of that, but hey-ho. So now we're going to create a wrap, a sleeve, if you, for want of a better word. So, your cardstock needs to be... Six inches by five and three quarters. Okay, so on the six, on the five and three quarter inch side, you're going to score at seven eighths and four and seven eighths. They're the only two score lines you're going to do. So seven eighths of an inch and four and seven eighths. Okay, and then on your long side, which will be the six inch, six inch side, you are going to score, <laughs> you're going to love me for this one. <laughs> oh dear. So this is your six inch side, and you're going to score at two and a half and at two and no the three and just one notch before the three and a half okay can you just see that there so it's 
so you're going to score a two and a half and then one notch just before the three and a half. I could say it in sixteenths but people will look at me and think oh Christ there she goes. <laughs> so that's where your score lines are going to be okay and again you're just going to put tape on your first lot of tabs. I'm just burnishing them. Okay, so now we're going to peel off our Okay, so what you're going to do is burnish all them score lines. Okay, fold this one in and then bring this one round. until you meet it up perfect okay and you're going to do the same with the other end so you're going to bring it in and pull this one over to give you a nice flush edge And give that a good smoosh down. Okay, then I've got our half inch circle punch. I'll do that once I've got my doodah stuck on. So you're going to need a piece of DSP that measures. I'm not looking at me thingos anymore, me notes that I took down. That I worked it out to. <laughs> Two and a half inches, okay, by three and three quarter inches, okay. And I'll have to take a drink, so you'll have to. And when you can feel your voice getting all scratchy again, <laughs> I'm slowly getting there. His lordship's back and work, so he's fine, but he gave it to me anyway, so. Seeing I don't have anyone I can pass it on to, so it lingers on me. <laughs> Everyone stayed away from me like the plague, honestly. The only thing they've not done is drew a cross on the door. So our DSP is just going to fit very snugly in there and just give us that one eighth of an inch border. You know I love that one eighth of an inch. <laughs> okay, then you're going to take a circle punch, any punch, it doesn't matter how big, how small, whatever, just a circle punch. And all you're going to do is try and get it in the centre there okay and you're just gonna I didn't want that to go out and fly in me copper <laughs> you're just gonna punch that out and that should fit very snugly over that okay so that the recipient knows <laughs> to pull it out there and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in with my circle punch and I'm going to do a finger thingy at the bottom as well so they know that's where the two opening right now you can fit your miniatures in there okay I use this hand cream all the time that won't fit <laughs> um, let me think let me think what I've got to hand You can load it up with a load of truffles if you're into making truffles. Load it up with a load of them. Um, let me see what else we've got. 
it's just a way of making another one of those shadow boxes um, let me see no you can only get one of them in but I know you for the fact you can get the miniatures in <laughs> okay so that's our box so we're going to do a little tiny bit of stamping and I've got to my dear friend I should have brought my miniature in shouldn't have I and it is a miniature hand lotion <laughs> it's not a miniature as an alcohol and I've got my petal pink So we've got to my dear friend okay it's not exactly straight but it will do me and I don't know if it's going to fit in this punch I'll just have to have it my dear friend my dear friend and I'm going to use some of the petal pink cardstock put it back in make a diamond and that just gives you your little flag bend so we're going to lay them up with some glue dots. ribbon with the gold thread going through I think this was from last year I'm not sure but I never throw me ribbons away um, especially vanilla or whisper white because you can always do them change them up into a different colour so just bear that in mind when you just bear that in mind when you're picking your ribbons So we've just gone round the box. I'm turning it this way because I can't fill and see. <clears throat> well, folks, I've had no shenanigans this week that I can tell you about. Because I've not been anywhere. <laughs> Oh, come on, Mel. You're only tying a knot. <laughs> Have you ever known the likes? So I want to bring that over and I want to cut these ends off.
and I'm going to stick a glue dot under that to start if, stop it from moving about. Okay, and we can take a couple of our pearls. That one likes me finger. Oh, book it off. up with these blimmin' things. They. <laughs> oh dear, I'm going back to bed. <laughs> right. Okay, get back in there. So there is our lovely little box. <laughs> and there you go, our little shadow box. So I shall show you that template again. That's your nine and three eighths side. That is your eight inch side. So that is what you should be looking at when you've done all your score lines. And then darker lines that you can see is how you cut your cardstock. Okay, so if you want to screenshot that, there you go, and it's just a matter of folding and burnishing. Okay, and the sleeve, as I say, um. is five and three quarters by six inches and um, on the short side the five and three quarter side you're going to score it at seven eighths of an inch and four and seven eighths and um, on the long side which is the six inch side you're going to score it at two and a half by three and one under the half I could say seven sixteenths but you'll go mad so it's three and one eighth of an inch under the half. <laughs> okay, then you're going to cut away um, the two little tabs and just leave the longer tabs. And then you're just going to fold it round over each other and that is what you get. Your little shadow box, which does hold like a travel size hand cream. Um, or maybe the cheaper candles <laughs> you get two of the cheaper ones or wax melts there's an idea there's um you can buy the little wax melts i have seen them and you will probably fit two four even in there so i hope you give that a go hope you like that project for today um Take care of you and take care of everyone else and I shall speak to you all soon. Bye bye.